Well, the Lawrence County School District is looking toward the future of its students' success with two new schools. 41 NBC's Elizabeth Gutierrez has an inside look at the schools and how the expansion has helped so far. Make sure that your grade matches what's in Aspen. At first glance, you might see just an ordinary classroom filled with students, but there's more than meets the eye. They're getting to learn with new technology and a sense of pride. I feel like I'm going to leave my mark in this school. Alexis Reed will be part of the first graduating class from the new East Lawrence High School. She's also one of over 600 students getting to experience new opportunities the old school couldn't provide. My favorite part of the school is the basketball court, seeing the new shiny floors, the new bleachers, and being able to um, see my senior banner hanging on the wall. East Lawrence High School students aren't the only ones benefiting from a new building. There's also a new West Lawrence Middle School. Principal of the school, Reed Waldrop, says the new school allows for more students to enroll and more opportunities in our connections classes, our vocational type classes, what some people know them as. We were able to expand that program and, and offer our kids a, a little bit of a better glimpse of what they'll see in high school. This is also the first time all 940 students are under one roof. For the last three years, sixth grade was at the old high school building and the seventh and eighth was across the parking lot in the old junior high building and, and I ran between the two. Principal Waldrop says he's looking forward to watching the students grow academically. In Lawrence County, Lisbeth Gutierrez, 41 NBC News. Uh, both schools are made up of two floors and there's always room to grow. East Boss funds were used to build them. School officials say there will be more additions to the buildings in the future.